Internationalization, or IETNN, is a process of adapting your product for different languages and cultures around the world. This greatly improves the user experience, and if you're a business, can greatly improve your conversion rates. And this goes way beyond just translations. Sites can do things like change testimonials to make them more region-specific, run different promos or marketing campaigns for local holidays, or even promote different services depending on your business goals. So in this video, we're going to use Nux3, Nux IATN, and Storyblock to create an example concert marketplace that shows entirely different content depending on the locale of the user. So first, regardless of how you're managing your content, Nux IETN comes with a lot of features that'll make implementing internationalization easier. I'm going to use it to track a user's locale, allow them to change it, and also manage our routing, so different locales have different prefixes before their routes. Keep in mind that at the time I'm recording this, it's still in beta, but I'm going to go ahead and install it, add it to our Nux modules, and then add an IETN object for configuration. And inside our configuration, we can set the code and name for each locale, set our default locale, and then choose our routing strategy. And this one here will add a prefix on any locale that's not our default one. So now if we go to the page that we're going to use, which I called landing slash concerts, we can grab our locale with the use IT9 composable. If we print this in our template and then navigate to slash landing slash concerts, we can see that our locale code is EN. Then if we change our URL to have our other locale as the prefix, we can see the locale code we're printing out also changes. So right now we already learned a few things. First, for every page in our app, there will be a locale specific route that will map to the page. We can opt out of this on a page by page basis with the defined A18 route method. Or we can either pass the locales that we do want to have localized routes, or we can only allow our default route to go through by passing false. Because each route maps to a different locale, we have to change how we do our linking. For example, if we go to our UK landing page and then click our logo in the top, we get back to our home page with our default locale. Instead of this, we want all of our links to use our current locale to determine the page that we should go to. Luckily, we have a function that can do this out of the box. So if we go to our header, we can say const locale path equals use locale path. And then here, instead of linking to our home page, we want to link to locale path and then pass it our home route. So our current locale will determine what this link will resolve to. And the last thing we want to do with this module is allow the user to switch locales. So also inside of our header, we'll get access to our current locale and all of our locales, and also a reference to the use switch locale path function. Then in our header, we'll list over all of our locales, which contain the code and name we set in our config. And then each link will point to switch locale path of code, which will give us the route for our current page in the locale that we specify. So now that we have multiple locales in Nux IETN, let's move on to making content for each one. You could do this natively in Nux or View IETN where you have JSON files for your translations and use these translation keys to pull the right text. But I think it's easier to manage and scale if you pull out your content pipeline entirely from your dev one. And when it comes to CMSs, I really like using Storyblock. If you haven't used Storyblock before, I've made a full video on how to use it with Nux that's linked down below. But just as an overview, we can create blocks that are view components and specify fields that get past these components as props. So for this concert page, let's say we have a hero section, this little category section with some different types of events, a three column layout, and then three feature cards. Then to show this content on our page, we can use Storyblock's Nux module. We can use use async Storyblock, pass it the slug to our page, and say that we're getting the draft version so we get live updates. Then in our template, we can use Storyblock's built-in Storyblock component to render through all of the blocks on our page. So right now, this page is pretty US-specific, featuring events that happen in the States. But let's say our fake business is expanding to the UK, and we want people that hit our UK locale to get different content. So to first configure this, let's go to our settings, internationalization, and then add a language, you can see that there's a ton here and we're interested in en-gb, which as you may notice, matches the locale that we set in Nuxt i18n. And now we're ready to start changing our content. So if we go to our landing slash concerts content, we can currently see the content for our default locale. And then if we hit this drop down up here, we can see that we get access to our United Kingdom version, which currently is the same. So to start changing content, we can go to any field in any of our blocks, edit it, and set translatable to true. Then we can go back, flip this translate toggle, and set the value for this certain locale but still our content's not changing. And that's because we're not using our locale when we're pulling our data from Storyblock. So inside of our concerts.view component, we just have to add an additional option that sets our language to our locale.value. And now our locale specific header is being shown. We can do this with all the fields in our page. And one cool technique is that we can even conditionally hide blocks based off their locale by setting a dropdown field that contains the different codes. And then in our code, we use a V if to only show this block if our current locale is in that list of locales. As you can see, Storyblock is not only intuitive to add into your project, but it's also really nice on the CMS side. To update our changes, we get a really nice visual editor where you can see live update of our content changes. So if you wanna learn more, I highly recommend checking the link in my bio or some of the other videos I've made on it. So I really think you should consider checking out Storyblock. But even if you don't, I hope this video taught you a thing or two about internationalization. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.